we're back again and in this video which will be a very short one i just want to show you one neat trick that you can do or perform if you want to make your terrain larger so instead of tiling it the way you used to do it in the past you can actually make it continuous uh, large terrain Because of the procedural or semi-procedural nature of Terrain Mixer, this is exactly what you can do in an organic way. So let's just press 7 to view it from the top and then I'll select this terrain and I'll duplicate it and move it along X axis because I know that uh, the terrain is uh, 2000 by 2000 meters. I'll just enter 2000 here. So now we have two identical terrains and that's not what we want. We we actually want this terrain, this original terrain to continue on this second terrain plate. And the way we do it is very, very simple. Let me just open as the browser and I'm going to look for power nodes category and then i'm gonna drag and drop this translate rotate scale node texture trs before i do that i will just click here to make this a unique modifier for this terrain so it doesn't apply same changes on this terrain as well so let's press this here and then drag and drop this and move it here you see nothing changed but if we enter the value one because we move it for one terrain unit to the right if i enter one here you will see that now it's one bigger terrain so in the same way i did this if i if i disable this one that we just created and enable these and make them visible you will see we have four terrains let's make this one invisible that we have four terrains which are connected in a very uh, natural way you see this was the original one actually this was the original one and then i extended it with three additional terrains to make one large terrain which in the end will be 3d printed that's all thanks for listening and we'll be back soon